hello wordpress nuts so welcome back to another video of let's learn wordpress gutenberg block series so in the previous video we saw that how we can create a simple gutenberg block and add styling and also we learn about block attributes now in this video we are going to talk about wordpress block components so what is WordPress block component? So it is the predefined component made by WordPress, which we can use um, in our block creation for user interaction, user interaction. So um, let me show you what does it mean. So in previous video, uh, we added our custom block in this post so I'm gonna edit this post and yeah I would suggest if you are new to this video I would suggest that you, you start watching this playlist from the beginning otherwise keep watching this video before jumping into the code if you are new to Gutenberg development then I would suggest to watch or review this website called the wpvoyage.com this has very good tips and tricks regarding Gutenberg development and Gutenberg editor so please go and check out this site thank you so let me show you what does it mean by WordPress block components so let's edit this blog or post and yeah this is our custom um, block we created so in this you see we added this text box which is called block component so there are many other types of component and uh, this is the component uh, let me show you the type of this component so I'm gonna open my custom plugin SRC uh, edit.js as I already mentioned that uh, whatever we write in this editor edit.js will display in this editor so this is called text control um, component which uh, handles which accepts the text input so there are many other text control in the WordPress so I'm gonna show you the library of other um, WordPress components so this is the component reference and these are all different type of uh, components and in that uh, let me open our particular text component uh, which is text control so if I open this so whatever component you want to use you can uh, go to that particular components uh, document and here you will see how to use that text control I mean that particular component so how to use this text control for example we already use this but let me show you that so here we can have an example usage so whenever we any uh, component we want to use from WordPress we have to write down this import line so basically this will import a particular component into that particular file so that you can use that component in in your um, callback function so this is um, reacts uh, basic uh, structure that whenever you want to use any component you have to first import that component from WordPress components so this is not I mean this is this syntax is react but this particular component is WordPress so um, whatever component you want to use you have to check 
from which library or component it is coming from and according to that you have to write import um, import uh, line in your um, particular file so in our case it's edit.js so in edit.js we already have this line import text control and then we have options which options we can use for that text control so for example in this uh, text control we used a value and on change event but we can use label as well so let's try to add label and see what happens when we use this so I'm gonna use this simple label and okay before running before jumping into the browser I'm gonna run our npm function sorry command I forgot to run that so I'm gonna open terminal and I will write npm start so that our changes applies to our block so let's wait for the script okay it's successfully run and now I'm gonna refresh our page and let's see so let's read what is label so if this property is added a label will be generated using label property as the content so we should be able to see the label over here as you can see we have this label for our text field similarly there will be another um, let's say help test text so I'm gonna add help as well so I think you get the idea whatever component you want to use you can check all the properties uh, available properties on that documentation help text goes here and let me refresh this and let's see where it goes so again this is all in the editor it won't affect on the output from the uh, for the front side so as you can see help text goes here and similarly there are many other uh, props or properties in short in react it is called props and I am assuming that that's the short form of properties so yeah try using props word for react uh, so this is the text control and uh, let's try to add another control component so I'm gonna add simple so let me try to go to the main page of component okay and let me try to use simple button component so if I let's import button first so this is the basic rule whatever you want to use uh, first you need to import that so we already have this wordpress components it is coming from wordpress components so we can add multiple components like comma separated and then i'm gonna copy this click me and i will add right below the text control and now let's see what happens if I refresh this uh, I think button should be display start displaying over here so as you can see we have this button okay okay I forgot to remove this so yeah button is here currently it does nothing as we I just added 
just to show you how to add another other components so this is the wordpress components uh, block components and uh, you can try other components by yourself um, from this I will provide this link into the description section and uh, this is the video guys if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video